All right, so you're considering making a move to Tampa, Florida, and you're wondering what's going on with the real estate market. And in today's video, I know this is gonna be a little bit different than normal. My viewers are used to me running around vlog style and checking out the city, but I was reading an article um, this past week that just stopped me in my tracks, and I have to share it with you. this is your first time to the channel, we make videos that are all things Tampa Bay. What it's like to live here, what it's like to work here, what it's like to play here, the food, the dining, the outdoors, the beaches, and the sunshine. My name is Juan Alcala. I'm a real estate professional and a team leader here with the True Living Group, and I help people just like you relocate, move, and invest from all over the country. We're getting phone calls, text messages, Heck, I'm even getting DMs on Instagram from people just like yourself who really want to move to the area or are considering buying a second home or investing in it. And guys, today's video is all about that because the article that I read this week coming out of Zillow in regards to how much uh, appreciation came from the average home in Tampa, I do not want to let my audience miss on this. It was absolutely staggering. Now, we all know that the housing market has been in a crazy boom cycle, especially since you know the, the virus came around and that's not different in most places, right? No matter where you live, New York, New Jersey, people are relocating from you know northern states and the pack, um, pack Northwest to the Sun Belt. That has changed a lot. 20% of the people who moved last year decided to relocate out of their state. That's a huge number. But what is very interesting is what's going on in Tampa specifically. And that's what I wanted to bring to you guys today because this article was showing the average appreciation of a home over the last year versus how much the average person was making in the area. And it was absolutely mind blowing. The average home in Tampa, y'all, made $75,000 in appreciation year over year. That is a huge number. Okay, great. You might live in an area that's more than that. Well, the average person in Tampa, according to the to the study, said that the average salary was forty six thousand dollars. That was the average income, and that's not much off of the national average, which I think is like fifty something thousand. But what it was saying was this: that the the average home in Tampa made twenty eight thousand dollars more in appreciation than the average person did. Yes. And an inanimate object made more than the average human being did. And I was like, whoa. And I have been here, right, for the last three and a half years watching this thing occur. And, and I shared this story a little bit previously, but, you know, to give an example, we live very close to the beach. Um, we, this is the area we chose. I look, Three and a half years ago when we decided we were going to make the move, we really studied real estate. And I looked at job growth and opportunities and what I thought was going to happen, right? Um, I've been selling real estate for, uh, it'll be 10 years in July now. And I was really focused on going to a coastal region that I knew still had room to run. Now, I'm not sitting here, guys, telling you that I knew this was going to happen. I didn't. But I believed that we were going into a stronger market. Tampa was starting to get younger. Jobs were starting to come to Tampa. And whenever you see that combination, you know that you're, you're probably in for a good upswing. And I felt that as a coastal region, Tampa was extremely undervalued at that point. And I know I'm talking about history, but I, I want to tie this into today because I believe it's important, y'all. Here's what you need to know. If you live in Tampa, you're frustrated because your taxes have gone through the roof while this appreciation has occurred. It's very difficult currently to buy a home if you don't have a great agent or amount of cash or most likely a combination of both of them. Um, but if you're an investor or you're buying a second home, this is paradise. And the reason being, and even for people who live in other expensive coastal regions, and I want to put this in perspective for you guys really quick because it's important to take note of. Someone moving from Los Angeles where the average home price is $900,000 or San Diego where it's $880,000 or New York where it's $800,000, you know, and I'm using some gen generalities here. Go check these numbers out for yourself. I'll give you some st strict data and I'll share the articles with you because I don't like to just throw stuff around and, and, and blow smoke, right? But when you come here and the average sales price is $368,000, that is why we are so attractive. We're growing in jobs. We were second in job growth in, in 2021, only to Salt Lake City. 
our population is expected to double in the next three to five years. Tampa, Hillsborough County, where Tampa's at, is, has a population of about 1.4 million, and they're expecting that to climb to almost three. Tampa Bay, um, as a region, is about 3.2 million. It's very similar in size to San, uh, San Diego in terms of population. But 368,000, I want to compare that to other places in, in Florida specifically and talk about why that's important and why I still believe that now is a great time to take advantage of where the market is. And I want to caution everybody and just say this, Juan does not have a crystal ball. I'm not a world-class economist, but I study real estate. I study numbers. And here's what I'll say. And when the big crash came, nobody knew that either. But if you look at the fundamentals and what's happening in terms of growth and desire, I think Tampa has a great bull run. It's expected to be the best real estate market in the United States, according to Zillow's Economist this year. Um, and we're off to a rip-roaring start. There's no doubt about that. Um, but I think that there's plenty of room to run still, and I want to share why. We just talked about the population potentially doubling, okay? You've got to grow in order to make that happen. And here's what's unique, and, and I want to break down the coastal regions in Florida and why this is specific. Jacksonville is another great area that's going to grow. But here's what's happening in Tampa. Tampa has only three sides that it can grow from because we are blocked in <laughs> by the Gulf Coast, right? So. Pinellas County, where Clearwater and St. Petersburg are, there's nowhere else to, to build there. In order to build new construction on Pinellas County, you've got to tear down an existing property. And Pinellas County is in the Gulf of Mexico. It's in the ocean, y'all. If you really take a step back and look at Florida, Florida is in the ocean. But if you look at Tampa Bay, it is in the ocean specifically. So there's nowhere to grow there. And if you have to tear something down to build something up, that is a more expensive proposition, which by nature is going to help the resale value of, of that real estate. So that's one thing. The other thing is Tampa right, is in the bay. So again, you can only grow up or, or out from that point. And we're seeing tremendous growth in places like Wesley Chapel, uh, Waiumama, San Antonio, Spring Hill, Lutes, Lando Lakes. There's all these areas that are just exploding with growth right now and they're beautiful, but they're nowhere near the beach. So you're getting companies that are coming in and building these beautiful like five and seven acre lagoons. There's a company called Metro Place and they're building they're on their fourth lagoon that they're building right now, which is phenomenal. So they're having this new construction boom, but it is north and south and east of the city specifically. So at a $368,000 average price point, it is still very affordable here. And if you sell somewhere at $800,000 or $1.1 million, which is really what's happening, I've got you know buyers right now who are selling in Los Angeles, and they're coming here and they're paying cash, and it does make things hard on us but it also helps us grow. So, you know, keep in mind, that's not going to stop. Whether we like it or not, y'all have to, we have to get over that, okay? And just understand that, that people are coming here because Tampa is a value from a coastal perspective. Now, I want to read some numbers to you guys. This is what's going on as of today, as of the time of this recording. All right, we're in spring of 2022. The median price point in Naples, Florida, which is about three hours south of us, two and a half hours south of us, is $424,000. That's the average price point. And the agents that I'm talking down there are telling me that it's closer to seven. That's really what it costs to get into Naples right now. So if you want to move to Naples, that's the price range you're going to be looking at. Miami, which is another area that is landlocked, okay? Miami can't, it's at the southern point of Florida. There's nowhere else to go, and it's surrounded by, by literal ever, Everglades, okay? There's nowhere to build there. So where are you going to put new properties there? Their average price point as of today is $477,000. Now, 524, 377, and if you come to Tampa, $374,000 today. I know I said 368, but it's 374. 374,000. That's a ridiculous value in the state of Florida, okay? So that's number one. But if you're coming from someplace that is 800, 900, 1.1, you know, to, to buy a home here, it is a very, very inexpensive proposition. Okay, so what does all that mean for you, the home buyer, the investor, someone who's looking to relocate here? Well, like I said before, here's what I believe. I think that 
Tampa is going to continue to grow in both population, jobs, and the economy. I think our real estate values are going to continue to increase. Again, we're in the ocean, y'all, and uh, the Lord doesn't make any new oceanfront property, <laughs> hopefully. Um, and, you know, because of that, we're an attractive area. Our weather is fantastic. You guys can go watch my pros and cons videos. There's a million reasons why to choose Tampa as a place to make it your home or to invest in. We're Long Island, Tampa. That's why we moved here. And I look, I know I realize I sell real estate and you can, you know, look at me and say, hey, you're just trying to sell. And, and, you know, yeah, that's how I put food on the table. But I honestly believe that or I would not have moved my family 1200 miles to the Tampa area. And you know what? The lifestyle has been incredible. The people been amazing. And we're on a ride right now. Now, can it and will it change in the future? The answer is yes. When? No one truly knows. In the short term, though, I think Tampa is going to be incredible. And, you know, if you are one of those people who don't want to look back and say, I wish I would have, I would strongly encourage you to take a look. Do your own research. I share all of our articles. I'd be more than happy to jump on a call with you. Um, you know, again, you can contact me via text message, email. You can call me directly. My number and my information is, is listed here. You can DM me on Instagram. That happens all the time. And I also put a calendar link down below that you can schedule a time and jump on Zoom with me. It's one of my favorite things to do with potential clients because there are times when Tampa's not the right place for you. Maybe you, you know, Orlando's the right spot or maybe Texas is the right spot for you, you know? and that's okay you know but one of the things that i know people really struggle with is like where do i move if i'm gonna come and i love to jump on google maps talk through the areas talk through how they live schools and and just lifestyle and those things so just know that you have access to me you don't have to ask if you see a time in my calendar and you're seriously considering that that relocation or that move or that investment you know we work with all types of clients from all over the country and canada at this point who are making that decision to relay, relocate or invest. And you know, if that's you, feel free to reach out. And until next time, y'all go out and live that Tampa life.